Hi, this is Dan Waterloo with phplistsupport.com. I'd like to talk about configuring PHP list. And the first way we'll do this is by just using a little digital chalkboard here and drawing some pictures. And we'll talk about the config files and where they are. When I think about PHP list and the configuration, I think about like an iceberg that's out in the ocean, if you will. There's the iceberg, and then here's the ocean. Now some of it is above the surface of the water, and some of the, some of the iceberg is down below, and most of it is. And that's the way PHP list uh, basically works. You'll have a, let's see if I get my colors right, maybe I'll take a green here, a lime color. This is like the web interface to PHP list. So if you're coming in from the internet here, I'll mark this as the internet. Internet as uh, we think of it, basically the web interface here to the internet. There's a lot of different ways to do things on the internet. The one that is mostly used is this web interface. And you get to it via these HTTP commands, hypertext transport protocol. Okay. So that basically that's the web browser. So there's a web interface to PHP list. And let me go ahead and uh, label the iceberg here. Okay. This is going to be PHP lists. So I'll go sideways. So you can get to PHP list via the web interface. Now PHP list actually is a bunch of different things here. One of them, I'll make that in, in yellow. One of them is this database. Whoops, let's see here. What? One of them is the database. So if I come here and I draw the database, sorry, I'm not so good at drawing. This is the MySQL database or MySQL, depending on what you call it. And then the other main part of this, there's two other parts here. I'll take, a, maybe I'll try this carnation for the mail server. I'll make that look like a little envelope here. Kind of like a little mail server. And the glue that holds all this together is PHP. That's a language, a programming language. And PHP actually runs the website. It talks to the database and it talks to your mail server. So, one thing you need to know on this is inside of this, and sort of down below, underneath this, there's some there's a there's a file called config.php. So some of the configuration is in this file that's on the server, and the only way to get to it is via you have to go the other way at it. You have to get onto the server. And then there's some, there's some uh, configuration. Okay, there's some configuration settings. Some of them actually you set from, from the web interface. And then those go and they're stored into the database. So. There's two sets of settings. One is this configuration settings that you can get to from the web interface. And then there's config.php, and this is, I'll call it via the command line. That's a zero, that's an L. So to configure PHP completely, you need to do both. And uh, that's what I want to go over with is 
this is the general architecture. Some of the, some of the settings are saved in the database and you can get at them from the web interface. Some of them you actually have to go into the server itself where PHP list is installed and get into the file system and edit this, this file here. So the one last thing I put on here is the ser this is typically installed. Here, I'll go ahead and do it like this. If you have a hosted server or you have a standard installation of PHP list, this, this is your server. This is actually the piece of hardware or the virtual machine that uh, PHP list is, 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 host, is, is, is installed on. So the server, the purple line here, is actually the hardware or the machine that PHP list is installed on. So what I'm going to do in the next two videos, uh, one of the videos I'm going to go over this, how, what are these configurations you can set via the website. So this is number one. Here's how to set that up. And then the second one is going to be how to configure the config.php file that's on the server that you get to via the command line. The other way to get to it, if you have a hosted server, a similar way is something that's called cPanel. Or the other thing that's commonly used is Plesk. So this is the overview. On the next video, I'll talk about setting the configuration settings from the web interface. And then on the second screencast, I'll talk about setting the config.php file and what all those settings mean. Thanks for listening. This is Dan from phplistsupport.com.